Wow, dude, I'm telling you, a lot of you guys have been asking about my reticulated python that I came across. And look how gorgeous this snake is. Look at that. <laughs> yes, beautiful, beautiful colors. Reticulated pythons are the longest snake in the world. And, and in my opinion, there's beginner and intermediate and expert uh, level snakes. And she would definitely be an expert level snake just for how big they get. Um, and the enclosure that they're going to need as they grow. Um, but as you can see, they do get beautiful. People breed them for their morphs, their size, their attitude. They can be known to be punks and you wouldn't want a snake being a punk uh, that's pushing, especially she's about 13, 14 feet. She might be 18, 22 feet by the time she's done growing. So you gotta keep these kind of things in mind. I would say you definitely wanna start with your smaller, you know, pythons, ball pythons and boas. Um, before you worked up to this. And then just make sure you have a plan. Make sure you have a plan in place of what you're gonna do with her uh, or, or the reticulated python as it gets big. This snake is only three years old. And, uh, and, and so in three years, uh, it's not like the other snakes. You gotta have a plan. <laughs> you got to have a plan quick. Check her out, dude. Look how fast, I mean, and she does. She moves quick. Um, she doesn't really like to wrap on as much as you would think. She likes to just get and go. So she's very exhausting um, trying to trying to maintain with her. But I do love this snake. Oh, no, no. But, you know, she wants to do what she wants to do. And I'm going to tell you what, once a uh, 13, 14 foot snake gets to going uh, what they want to do, yeah, you just kind of let them. So, but look at that. Look how gorgeous she is, dude. But she does, she just likes to do her own thing, go her own way. But again, this is also a two person snake. You wouldn't want her to, to bite and latch on. So reticulated pythons are gonna have those combat teeth, man, I'm telling you, cause they eat some big, big prey. And so you, you wouldn't want to get tagged by her um, and have to deal with her by yourself. So we only like to get her out when there's two of us, me and my wife are both home. Even though she's like, I don't know what you think I'm gonna do <laughs> if, it's, if she bites and wraps on, right? So, so it, it, it's funny, but at the same time, it's serious. You gotta be careful. You, these snakes demand respect. They, they, they do, they demand respect. You gotta take care of them. Um, but retics might be up there at the top as far as level of, of experience with snakes and things like that, especially large constrictors. But man, once you get them, I'm telling you, they are, they are addicting. They, you, you're going to want a bunch of them and you can breed them. Obviously, I don't get into the, all the morphs and stuff, but man, some of the morphs of these guys, especially with how big they are, God, they are just gorgeous. And we take her to our reptile parties, like our educational program. So she's been a huge ambassador uh, with some of the parties that we've done and, and the, the families and the kids love them. I mean, it's five or six people, you know, they get awesome family pictures and they truly get to see uh, you know, God's longest and most beautiful snake on our planet. And she does great with it. She does. I've never seen her show any kind of defense of anything except for when they feed. So remember this, reticulated pythons are notorious uh, um, for their feeding response. So after she eats, uh, I usually won't mess with her for about four days. Because she, she comes out that door quick and hard uh, looking for more food. So it's just another thing ugh, that you got to be mindful of. But man, reticulated pythons. My girl, her name is Fiona. She is absolutely gorgeous. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't subscribed, do it now.